In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to zoom in to a location on a map and then cause an image to appear at that location. This comes from a question I saw on the CyberLink user forum. So what I'm going to do is take this image of the state of Michigan and drag and drop it on track number one. And now that it's on the track, we're going to edit it. We're going to go in to our PIP designer by double clicking on the picture. Now I'm in the PIP designer, I'm going to use keyframes. A keyframe basically changes the value of things like position or scale or opacity at a moment in time. And with my timeline marker on the very left side, I'll set a keyframe for position by clicking the diamond. And I see my little red marker, I'll set one for scale as well. And then I'll say, how long do I want to have this picture uh, enlarge to the certain city on the map? So I'll move my position indicator over to maybe, oh, three seconds. And then at that mark, I'll go back to the left and set another diamond, one for position and one for scale. Now, right now, the values at three seconds are the same as the value at the beginning. So if I play it, there's no change. But what we're going to do is go to these values and modify them. I get there by first of all stopping my preview by clicking on the box and then I'll click on the right arrow on position that will move me to the second set of uh, red keyframes. Now what I want to do here is I want to make it enlarged at this moment in time. And so I'm going to enlarge the picture. To do that well, I have to click on the Zoom Out magnifying glass at the top of the preview window. I'll click on it several times, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on any four of the corners, and that will let me magnify. Let's go to the city of Flint. And so all I'm going to see at that moment is what you see in the little blue dotted area. Okay, so that's what we're going to zoom into. And so now if I go ahead to the beginning of the clip and play it, it zooms into the city of Flint. And then when it gets to this moment in time, it just freezes, it stays there. So that works really well. I'll click on OK, and now I have the zoom in. Now. I need to control what's going to happen when I get to that three second mark. So uh, in fact, what I'm going to do to give myself some insurance, I'm just going to stretch this whole image out to um, a lot longer. Let's go over eight seconds. Now that will not change the keyframes I just set. So if I go back to the beginning, I'm on my full map. So I take the timeline marker and I'm going to move it over to the three second mark. And at this point in time, I'm going to have the picture of the car appear. So I'm going to take the picture of the car and drag it to this point in time on track number two, because it's going to overlay what's in track one. And if I don't do anything with it right now, when I play it, it will be zoomed in on the city of Flint and then the car will magically appear on the screen covering the whole screen. Now that's not what I want. What I want it to do is I want it to appear and then grow pretty quickly. So I'm going to keyframe the car as well. I'll double click on the track number two picture of the car and that will get me into my PIP designer again only this time I'm going to do the opposite with the car. I'm going to move my playhead to the very beginning of the picture and I'm going to set a position and scale keyframe and let's say we want the car to pop up in just two seconds we can set any time we want I'll set another pair of keyframes now again they're both identical but but uh, two seconds after the car starts appearing I want it full size well not let's not do full size let's let's make it do um, oh maybe just the center of the screen. So we still we know we have a map behind it. And then we'll go back by using the left arrow to go to the first set of keyframes. And now at this point in time, what we're going to do is we're going to take our 
uh, image of the car and we're going to shrink it down Keep it in the center of the screen. So it starts out virtually microscopic. And so it will be very small here and in two seconds it will grow to virtually fill the screen. I'm going to click on OK. And now what should happen when we render this is that the car will appear as out of nowhere and then grow through the remainder of the clip. So we're going to uh, show you an example of what this looks like when it's been fully produced.